ever wonder what it would be like to be invisible for the day? Well, we've been pondering that exact question. And here's what we would do. Let's, Let's go. go! Carrie and Berry. Hey, hey Carrie and Berry. I'm Carrie. I'm Berry. Over the last few weeks, we've been through some pretty upsetting times, actually, in our own personal life. So, we got thinking. Life can be pretty hard at times. Can anyone else relate to that? I'm sure pretty much the majority of you can. Put a thumbs up in the thumbs up section if you relate to life being unkind. You know? If you have had at least one issue that's made you think life is unkind in the past couple of weeks, only in the last couple of weeks, because I'd be surprised to see, to see if you haven't. You know? This got us thinking, wouldn't it just be so great if we could just disappear and do whatever we want for the day? By the end of this video, you'll have an idea of what to do if you happen to find yourself in a situation where you've become invisible for one day. Ooh. You know, you just might need to know this sort of thing, might you? Plus, stick around till the end. We'll reveal what animal actually makes himself disappear in real life. Yeah, there's an animal out there which turns invisible by itself. Ooh. It's amazing. A big thanks to NordVPN, the sponsors of this video. Protect your online privacy from snooping eyes today by going to nordvpn.com forward slash Kerry Berry. My one will be is to see our little girl Vanessa. Spider. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just curious to see where she gets up to in her day. That's strange. Because um, when she, she's not with us, what mischief she gets up to. It makes you think in that regard. How she behaves. There you go. It's a bit like a cat. I've always been interested to know what cats do in the day. You think they're just going out to be innocent and fun. They could be up to all sorts, you know? Actually, they could be the one that making. Me to think. I would want to do that, actually. They could be the one making the. Um, oh, what's it called? You know the grass bits where they make the. On the crops. Yeah, crop, the crop, crop, um, crop thingy. What's it called? Symbols. Crop circle, crop circle. That's it. Even though it's not always a circle. Let me turn my notification on. Uh, yeah, so just be curious to know how she reacts to them, how yeah. is her behaviour is, what lies she, act she so innocent tells. She oh, behind <laughs> your back. Who oh, no. Just curious to know, oh, how she, you know, she talks to her imagination friend, you know, how she is with her it almost makes me think of Toy Story. Yeah. You think they're just chilling. Behind the scenes, they're up to something completely different. And it's weird, but who knows? You know? Anyway, what's your next one? My next one will be yeah. to see how they film on a film set. So I like to see behind the camera. I know on screen it's all the action. Yeah. But in reality, as we all know, it all takes longer than that. Nothing but is I, as clean and yeah, all that. But I want to know the gossip. True. And like, how well do the actors get on with each other? Yeah. How and with the camera crew, does the camera crew get involved? There you, go. you know, all that aspect of it. Because we've all seen all the backstage, how they made the film, but that's um, only how Excuse they me. want you to this see. This is my one. Sorry. Carry on. on. Come on. So, um, yeah, like how would they proceed on the day? Do they work like an eight hour shift? Do they make sure they have breaks? Do they continue to do, do, do? Yeah. You know, how well is a director? Um, how does it go about from, oh, and also all that involves like from when they film it to when they advertise it on TV, advertise on the cinema, for the red carpet, all that, you know, it's what just goes on? behind the scenes. It's very interesting. Hey! And all this crap that you read on the newspapers and that, I want to see it for myself. What I would do if I was invisible for the day is I would moan at people, like I'd sneak up to them and say, excuse me, I'm not very happy about that. Wind them up so they turn around and say, What? And they wouldn't see anyone there. And they'd be like, Oh, that's weird. But they'd also embarrass themselves because people would be like, ah. Is that how creative you want to be? And you daft. <laughs> but also, right. they'd be so confused as well. So, you know, it would have double barrel madness, wouldn't it? You know? Secondly, I'd like to go into a shop when someone, a customer's having their items scanned through. And every time they scan it through, I pick it back up put it back onto the conveyor belt and the items keep going through. So um, the customer gets annoyed thinking that they're being scammed out of money, but the supermarket assistant is actually very confused. So you've got a, another double barreled confusion going on where one looks like a bad person and the other is annoyed. Interesting. And confusion ensues. 
Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know what made you want to think of that, there but you go. okay. Right, moving on. My next one will be going to Disneyland when it's shut and, well, not necessarily when it's shut, when it's open, uh, but pushing through, squeezing next to someone, you know, and just go on the ride. Why don't you could get squash, couldn't you, really? Okay, well, okay, go on, sit on a ride that someone hasn't, you well, know, there's I'm a gap. I'm concerned okay. about the health and safety features. Anyway. Do you think, do you the locking mechanism anyway, still work? Yes, it will because of course it will. Invisible <laughs> body. I don't yes, know. it still will. Right. Anyway, yeah. I'll be first in line, plus I get to see all the characters, and I will get involved in the float, even hey. though no one can see me. But I'll be on the float, front row seat. Well, Ooh. that's cool. I would love to see all the back seats as well. Just imagine though, if the lift got, the ride got stuck and you were the only one on it, they wouldn't know to get you down. Well. Oh, wouldn't that be claustrophobic? That would right freak me out. Oh, he has to put a downer on it, doesn't he? Hey. I'll get to have the food, drinks, to see everything, just be glamorous. Even when it's the evening, I'll be up close seeing all the characters. I would like to go into a shopping mall and access the microphone room and then make an announcement saying, Everybody, one. everybody, evacuate the area. We need you to evacuate. And everyone screams and runs out. And then you do a microphone on the outside of the building saying, everybody, it's dangerous outside. Evacuate the area. So they've got to run back in. And then basically they're very scared and very confused. That would be interesting. Yeah. It's just an ambition of mine, you know? Scare people, general public. Any more? Anyway, no. So there's a, lot, there's a few of our ideas. Oh, yeah, I've got one more. I'll just skim through these, right? Tell somebody, I want to tell somebody something I've always wanted to say to them, like, you annoy me. And then, just as they're about to reply, I'll make myself disappear and then they can't respond. And that way, I've said it and I've ran away. I'd like to hop on a train somewhere nice, spend the day in a different location, and uh, then come back again and a free train ticket. Now that's yeah, a bit that'd be more practical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd like to take a selfie with another friend who's also having an invisibility day. I'd also like to fake a haunting. So you just start throwing things at the wall. To be fair, that off. was one of my ones I was thinking ah, about. Actually, so I said it. That'll be an interesting one. What Pull you, a prank on yeah. someone. What you've then managed to do is annoy them, ruin their electric bill, and also scare their life out of them. So you know, it's lovely, It'd isn't be a it? Great prank. Playing a prank on babies and toddlers. So you go to a baby and toddlers group, a t toddler comes to get a toy, just as they're about to grab it, you move it back, and they keep going to get it, and you move it back again. And they're like, what the heck is going on? But the parents are like, are you okay? And you stop as soon as the parent looks, and they're so confused, but so is the kid. I've got a little memory of um, an invisible time, which wasn't quite as invisible as I wanted to be. Uh, I went to a party, and I've got a famous cousin, kind of, person thing in the family and I want to have a look at him so I was spying on him from around the corner because I was, saw him talking and I didn't think he noticed so I, I crept my head around the corner popped it out to have a look I was like Ooh, and he saw me and my head just slowly popped back down again and after that I never spoke to him again so I kind of ruined that you know that was yes. a memory of invisibility that huh? went wrong do you know what also another great time to be invisible is while playing hide and seek <laughs> you'd be the ultimate winner <laughs> Disappear. Well, it would I'm be. watching the person finding everyone else. You're like, ha ha. This is not fair. We told you we would tell you about the creature that can actually turn invisible, and this one lives in the ocean. It is called the cuttlefish. According to uh, National Geographic, the cuttlefish's skin holds some 10 million colour cells, allowing it to impersonate a chunk of coral, a clump of algae, or a patch of sand. So it can basically turn into pretty much whatever ocean type thing it wants to and never be caught. Tell us what you would do if you were visible for the day. What hectic chaos would you call for a surprise party? It's easily done or surprise you. Surprise party? Or you could well, throw the surprise, surprise that no one will be there. Although or you, would you could be throw there. the surprise party on it. Well, I think the surprise would be I think you just pop up. Ooh. Yeah, but you wouldn't get caught then because you'd be still be invisible. It'd be like okay, the okay. box would open, it'd be like, oh, just hey, just there's nobody there. Imagine throwing a bunch of balloons out and just... That would work. Yeah, yeah.
astonishing, and the striking, bewildering, it's Carrie and Barry. <laughs>